Hello there, we are going to discuss solution detail of all the questions those who are appeared in GATE 2011 with respect to analog circuit. These are the questions those who are appeared in GATE 2011 pertaining to the subject analog circuit. We will discuss the solution detail one by one. First question is question number 8. In this question, a circuit is given by taking op amp and one resistor inductor, a current source is there. We have to find out what is the type of the filter. Uh, here the output is voltage and the input is current. We will first try to find out what is the transfer function. Then we will try to find out what is the type of filter. If we see there is a negative feedback here. So uh, by virtual ground concept the voltage at this point will be 0. So I1 is equal to 0 minus V0 by the impedance that is the parallel combination of L1 and R1 so if we write the I1s in terms of Laplace domain so I1s is equal to V0s minus 0 divided by the impedance Zs hence we can write V0s by I1s that is the transfer function is equal to Zs Zs is nothing but the parallel combination of L1s and R1 so Zs is equal to R1 ls divided by R1 plus ls. Hence the transfer function is this. If we write in omega domain, then h of omega will be R1 j omega l divided by R1 plus j omega l. Now we will see at, at uh, 0 frequency and at infinite frequency what is the value of h of omega. At 0 frequency if we see the value is 0. Now we will try to find out what is the h of omega value at, at omega tends to infinity. At omega tends to infinity, this value will be negligible comparison to this value. So at omega tends to infinity, the value will be looking like this. By cancelling, we will get R1. Hence at omega tends to infinity, the value of the transfer function is R1. If we try to plot the transfer characteristics h of omega with respect to omega, then it will be looking like this that is the lower frequency are attenuated and at the higher frequency it is allowing to pass through the circuit that is it is nothing but a high pass filter in some of the option option d is the correct answer thank you the next question is question number 20 in this question a circuit is given amplifier circuit is given where there is a parallel tuning circuit at the collector, we have to find out the information about the voltage gain, whether it is maximum, minimum, unity or zero, when the frequency is 10 mega radian per second. Now this circuit is nothing but a tuned amplifier. A tuned amplifier, its characteristics, that is the voltage gain with respect to the frequency is given by this curve, where the voltage gain is maximum when the circuit that is the tuning circuit is at a resonance condition that is at a resonant frequency the gain will be maximum or in other way or in other way we can write the voltage gain is nothing but the ZL by RE ZL dash is the impedance of this tuning circuit and this tuning circuit will have maximum impedance when the circuit is at resonance so at resonance condition the parallel Parallel, parallel circuit ZL dash reaches the maximum value as ZL dash reaches the maximum value the voltage gain will also reaches its maximum value we will try to find out what is the resonance frequency here the resonance frequency is given by 1 by square root of LC L values and C values are given so by substituting we will get 10 mega radian per second if we see the input frequency is also given as 10 mega radian per second so at omega 0 is equal to 10 mega radian per second the gain will be maximum hence the resonance frequency is, is coinciding with the input frequency so the gain will be maximum at this particular frequency hence among the option option a is the correct answer thank you next question is question number 32 in this question a BJT Q1 in the circuit shown, shown in the figure 
and uh, the beta value is very high vv on is given 0.7 volt saturation voltage vc sat is 0.7 volt given the switch is initially closed at t equal to 0 the switch is open okay we have to find out the time at which q1 leaves the active region and enters into the saturation region suppose that t equal to 0 when the circuit is open the current that is flowing through this 4.3 kilo ohm resistor is IC. As the beta value of the transistor is very large, so IC and IE both are equal. Hence, we can say IC current is flowing through 4.3 kilo ohm resistor. If we apply KVL across this loop, then we can write minus 5, minus 0 0.7, minus IC, RE, RE is nothing but 4.3 kilo ohm plus 10 equal to 0. From this, we can easily get what is the value of IC. We will get IC value to be 1 milliampere. Suppose I is the current that is flowing through this band. Okay. As IC is equal to 1 milliampere and this is a current source of 0.5 milliampere. If we apply KCL at this node, this current is 1 milliampere this current is 0.5 so this current will be also 0.5 hence i is equal to 0.5 current that will be flowing through the capacitor so the capacitor will try to charge by constant current 0.5 milliampere what is the value of ve the voltage ve is nothing but ic into re minus 10 volt so ve is equal to minus 5.7 volt When Q1 just enter into saturation, in that case Vc sat is given to be 0.7 volt. So Vc voltage will be 0.7 plus Ve, 0 0.7 plus Ve which is to be minus 5 volt. Minimum minus 5 volt is required for the transistor Q1 to enter into saturation region. This Vc is nothing but the voltage across the capacitor. So if we write the current I is equal to C dv by dt by changing this we will get integration of dv is equal to integration of i by c dt dv will be integrated from 0 to minus 5 volt to uh, 0 to minus 5 volt because at minus 5 volt the q1 is entering to the saturation region from the active region so the integration of time that is dt will be from 0 to t where t is the time after which the transistor q1 will be leaving the active region and entering into the saturation region so by integrating we will get this by solving this we will get the time to be 50 milliseconds so for 50 milliseconds if the current will flow to charge the capacitor to minus 5 volt the q1 will enter into saturation region or it will leave the active region. So after 50 millisecond of opening the switch the Q1 will enter into saturation region and leave the active region. If we see among the option, option C is the correct answer. Thank you. Next question is question number 42. In this question there are two MOS transistor their mu and COX value is given threshold value is also given both are of NMOS transistor we have to find out what is the voltage Vx W by L ratio are given suppose this one is M1 transistor and this one is M2 transistor if we see as the gate and the drain is sorted for M1 transistor so M1 will always be in saturation region so that's what is written here as the gate and drain are sorted in M1 so it will be always in saturation region coming to M2 for M2 the VG value is 5 volt, the VS value is nothing but the VX and the VD value is 6 volt. So the VGX, so the VGS value is nothing but 5 minus VX and the VDS value is nothing but 6 minus VX. For M2 to be in saturation, VDS should be greater than VGS minus VT. So VGS minus VT is nothing but 5 minus Vx minus 1 that is 4 minus Vx. If we see this voltage is equal
equal to 4 minus Vx and Vds is 6 minus Vx. So Vds is always greater than Vgs minus Vt. So M2 is also in saturation region. As both the transistor are in saturation region and they are in series combination. So same ID current will be flowing through both the transistor. Hence we can write the current equation ID equal to mu on Cox by 2 W by L1 Vx minus 1 that is Vgs minus 1 whole square for M1 transistor. Similarly, similarly for, for M2 transistor mu and she works by 2 w by l of transistor 2 vgs that is 5 minus vx minus vt is equal to 1 whole square so if we solve this if we solve this we will get a quadratic equation so we will have plus minus value here taking the plus value we will get vx to be 3 volt by taking the neg negative value that is minus value here we will get vx to be 7 volt but in no case the output voltage can exceed the supply voltage so this condition cannot be true hence this is not possible so the output voltage is always 3 volt that is Vx is 3 volt hence if we see among the option option C is the correct answer next question is question number 44 in this question the common voice current gain alpha is given and the reverse saturation current ICO is equal to 0.6 microampere is given. The BJT is connected in common emitter mode and is operating in the active region and the base current IB is given to be 20 microampere. We have to find out the collector current. So the collector current is nothing but beta IB plus beta plus 1 ICO. Here ICO value is given, IV value is given, alpha is given, so we can easily find out what is the value of beta. Beta to be alpha by 1 minus alpha. Hence beta is coming out to be 49. So after substituting all this value, we will get the collector current to be 1.0.1 milliampere. So among the option, option B is the correct answer. Thank you. Next questions are 54 and 55, both are linked question. Here a circuit is given where 4 diodes are connected in series. A resistor of 9.9K is connected between, between the applied voltage that is a sinusoid voltage source and a DC bias source and the 4 diode. The thermal voltage is given to be 25 millivolt. The input voltage that is the sinusoid voltage is given to be Vp cos omega where the peak voltage Vp is given to be 100 millivolt. The diode drop is 0 0.7 volt. What we have to find out in the first part we have to find out what is the bias DC current that is IDC and then in the second part we have to find out what is the output voltage VAC. So during the DC analysis what we will do we will sort the AC input source because the AC voltage will have the DC value of 0. Hence the small signal will be short circuited. This is the small signal which will have very less magnitude than that of the DC voltage that is 2.7 volt. Hence it will be sorted. And the second condition is as all the diode will be forward bias because 12.7 voltage is sufficient to make all the four diode forward bias as each diode is having 0.7 volt drop in forward bias case so total voltage drop is 0 0.7 into 4 that is 2.8 volt and 12.7 volt is greater than 2.8 volt hence each diode will be replaced by a 0 0.7 volt battery so we can write that the diode will be replaced by 0 0.7 volt drop Hence, if we draw the circuit, then it will be looking like this during the DC analysis. So, we can easily find out what is the IDC current here. IDC current is nothing but 12.7 minus 2.8 divided by 9.9 .9 kilo ohm. So, 12.7 minus 0 0.7 divided by 9.9 .9 k, we will get IDC value to be 1 milliampere. If we see, I mean the option, option A is the correct answer. 
next part is we have to find out what is the AC output voltage that is VAC. So during the AC analysis, what we will do, all the DC voltage source will be represented by their internal resistance that is they will be sorted and all the diode will be replaced by their internal resistance that is forward resistance. Why we replace the diode with, the, with their internal resistance? Because the diode will be forward bias always because this voltage is very very greater than this voltage. Hence, although this voltage is going down negative peak that is minus 100 millivolt, still all the diode are in forward bias condition only. So during the small signal analysis, the bias voltage will be sorted. Hence the bias voltage will be sorted. And the diode will be replaced by the internal resistance that is RE. RE is nothing but VT that is the thermal voltage given and RDC we have found out in the previous part to be 1 milliampere hence RE value is 25 ohm if we draw the small signal equivalent circuit then the circuit will be looking like this that is the input voltage AC voltage and each diode is replaced by 25 ohm resistance value so we can easily find out what is the output voltage by voltage division rule so V output is equal to V input into if we write in terms of kilo ohm then it is 0 0.025 into 4 divided by 9.9 .9 plus this value is nothing but 0 0.1 so we, so we will get V output P to be 1 millivolt the phase condition will also remain same hence if we see among the sun the peak voltage is 1 volt in case of B so, B is the correct answer. This concludes analysis of all the questions, those who are appeared in year 2011 with respect to analog circuit. If any question is missing or if any questions are missing, please let me know so that those can be added in this pad. If you have any query or any suggestion, please let me know. I will be happy to address those query or suggestion. See you in the next lecture. Thank you.